Let us begin with the installation of Oracle 12C database for Windows 7. In this video, we'll talk about the hardware and software requirements and step-by-step -step installation of Oracle 12C database. Hardware and software requirements. The hard disk you would need would be 10 GB RAM, 2 GB minimum. Operating system, we are using Windows 7 64-bit. You can use higher version 64-bit. The prerequisites would be JDK 7 upgrade 15 or higher version for Windows 64-bit. So for this, we'll need to go to Oracle website and download the Oracle Database 12C Release 1 for Microsoft Windows 64-bit. You can go on See All. You need to accept the license agreement and then you can download the zip file. You need to download both the parts of the files. You can keep both the downloaded zip files in a single folder and then you need to extract them. Click on extract here. Then you need to extract the second zip file. You can click on extract here. If you do this, both the zip file would get extracted in the same folder that is database. As both the zip files get extracted in the folder named database, open the database folder. You have the setup over here. You need to run the setup. Wait for the installer to get installed. Now you need to configure the security updates. If you provide with the email, they'll send you the support email needed for the security. If we do not wish to have the updates, we can click here and move on next. You need to say yes because we want to be uninformed of the critical security issues. You need to skip the software update. Click on next. We need to create and configure a database. You can update an existing database. You can install database software only. We'll go with the option of create and configure a database and click on next. We need to have the desktop version. We don't need server version here. We can use Windows built-in account or you can create use an existing account or you can create new Windows user. We'll go with the basic option which is use Windows built-in account and click on next. You need to click on yes when this message box is prompted. Here you need to provide with the administrative password. It has a password scheme. You need to use uppercase, lowercase and specific special characters.
we choose the database edition to be enterprise edition and character set to be the default you have another choice as Unicode but we'll go with the default option here I have provided with the administrative password to be oracle hash 123 you can give it your name you can name the global database name you can name it oracle demo anything you wish and you need to click on next now it is going for the prerequisite checks now here it gives you the summary of the global settings the database you should save the response file and click on install if you are ready for the installation your installation has been started it will take some time for it to get installed Windows Firewall may block some of the features of this program so you need to allow the access for these programs and your installation will resume few more programs may be blocked by your firewall so you need to allow the access to resume the installation Here you can see database configuration assistance is available. It is also getting installed. As we have named our global database to be demo, so here you can see clone database demo in creation. It will take some time for the clone database creation to process. When your database configuration is complete, you get a message from Database Configuration Assist. It provides you with the Database Express URL. You can note it down somewhere and you should go on Password Management. You can see all these are usernames which are logged. You can go and unlock them. and you can let them be logged. System and Sys were default which were unlocked. You can leave the rest as it is. It depends upon you and you can click on OK and OK. So it gets completed. The installation of Oracle database was successful you can click you can see we have completed all the steps 10 of 10 and here you can click on close to use the database you can go on start all programs oracle database 12 home you have the application development tools you have the configuration and migration tools you have integration management tools and you have Oracle installation products so you can go on SQL developer or SQL plus to create queries you need to provide with the full path name for java.exe this is the path name for JDK 1.7 under 1.5 or higher version which you have pre-installed. Need to then click on OK. 
if your version is not certified you can continue anyways and click on yes here you can see Oracle SQL developer getting started so this is the first page which you will get to see see first page you can click on connections create a new connection and you can name the connection provide with the username and the password which we have kept as oracle hash123 in the earlier and you should change the SID to be ORCL and you can then click on connect for it and your new connection would be connected thanks for watching the video your Oracle database 12C has been installed.